Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing Linux Mint inside VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. Before we get started, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. For RAM, the lowest that you can have is two gigs of RAM, four is recommended. For disk space, you're gonna want at least 20 gigs of hard disk space, but 100 is recommended. Two CPU cores, you're gonna need the Linux Mint ISO image file. You're gonna need VirtualBox and the extension pack. Now, if you don't have that installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All the steps and tools used in this video will be linked in the description below. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to grow my channel as big as possible to reach as many users as I can. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at getting this installed. So here we are at the Windows desktop. I'm gonna open up my browser. LinuxMint.com is the official URL. I'm just gonna click on the download link over here and I'll make sure I link this in the description below. Version 20.3 is the latest one out and you have three different versions that are available. You have the Cinnamon, Meat, and XFCE. We're gonna be doing the Cinnamon edition, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download link over here. And you can see that the size of it is 2.1 gigs. We'll scroll down a little bit further and you can see this is where all the mirrors are. You can select the location that's closest to you and then click on the link that corresponds with it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm in Canada, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the link for University of Waterloo. And there you go. So it's downloading this uh, image file. Uh, what I'll do is I'll skip to the next step after it's been downloaded. Okay, the download is now complete. You can see it over here and I have it in my downloads folder. Now where you download it is important because we're gonna need to point to that in just a moment here. So I'm gonna minimize these windows and I'm gonna open up my VirtualBox manager. Okay, inside my VirtualBox manager, uh, I'm gonna add a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on the new button up here and we're gonna give it a name. Okay, so I just typed in Linux Mint here and in the machine folder, you can switch this to another folder or another drive if space is an issue, that's up to you. I'm gonna leave mine as default. The type is gonna be Linux and the version I'm just gonna be leaving as Ubuntu 64-bit. You just wanna make sure it's at a Linux version that's 64-bit. So we're gonna click on next. And for memory, the minimum is gonna be two gigs, but um, what's recommended is four gigs. So we're gonna be installing four gigs. Click on next. And we're gonna be leaving this as default. Click on create. And we'll be leaving VDI as default, click on next. And dynamically allocated is fine, click on next. And for the hard disk space, you wanna have at least 20 gigs. I'm gonna put in 60 gigs and then click on create and we're done. Okay, so we have our virtual machine created. It's right over here on the left-hand side. And what we're gonna do is just make a few tweaks to the settings to make sure it runs properly. So we're gonna click on the settings button over here and inside the general tab, under advanced, we're gonna just make sure that this is switched to bi-directional for the shared clipboard and drag and drop. That means you can copy and paste text in and out of your operating system to your virtual machine and drag and drop files. And then under system, we're gonna to go to the processors tab and it's always a good idea to max this out in the green space so you get as much processing power for this virtual machine as possible. When you go into the red space, it might add a little bit of leg to your system, so keep it under the green space. And then in display, we're gonna max out the video memory all the way up to the top here, 128 megs, that looks good. And then we'll click on storage. And inside storage, we wanna select the empty disk over here, click on the little disk on the right hand side, choose a disk file. And this is where we need to go to our downloads folder. We downloaded the ISO image file, which is right over here. It's in my downloads folder and then click on open. Okay, and when we're done doing the installation, you can just right click on it and remove the attachment. So I'm gonna leave everything else as is. The rest of the options you can select and change and modify later on. These are just the important ones to have while you're trying to install the operating system. So click on okay. And here we are back at the virtual box manager. We're gonna make sure it's selected and then click on the start button. So we can leave it as default and start Linux Mint. So now we're at the live desktop for Mint Linux. This is not an installed version, this is just a live version. What we wanna do is actually double click on this disk over here to install the operating system in our virtual drive. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on that. And now it's gonna take us through the installation wizard. So I'm gonna be using a lot of default settings here. Depending on your region, you might wanna customize this a bit more, uh, but I'll be leaving, like I said, everything as is. So I'm gonna be leaving it as English and click on continue. And my keyboard layout, I'll leave as default. I'm not gonna be installing any multi-codes. If you're gonna be doing a lot of rendering or watching videos or multimedia related stuff, you can go ahead and select that. I'm just gonna click on continue. Okay, so next the installation type, we're gonna be erasing the disk. Now this is not your actual computer's disk. This is just the virtual space that we have assigned to this drive. So it's perfectly fine to make sure that this is selected and click on install now. So we get a prompt here to confirm the changes so we can click on continue. All right, so I'm gonna be leaving the region as New York. I'll click on continue. 
And now we have to enter in some user information, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, now that my password is entered in, I can click on continue. And now it's gonna copy over the files and install them. This might take a few minutes, so what I'll do is I'll skip over to the next step. Okay, so the installation is complete and is ready to restart. What we're actually gonna do is shut this down completely. So I'm just gonna hit the X in the corner. There we go, and then go to the menu and then power it off. Click on shutdown. And now we can just close it and we're gonna power off the virtual machine. And the reason why we're doing that is we just wanted to unmount the disk image. So I'm gonna select the virtual machine over here on the left-hand side, click on settings, and then go into storage, and then, oh, it's already unmounted. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't unmount it. <laughs> I thought it would still be there, but it looks like it's gone right now, so that's great. So I can click on, uh, hit the X in the corner, and let's boot it back up. Okay, it's rebooted, so now we just have to enter in the password we entered when we created the operating system. Okay, so we're getting a message over here for video drivers. It probably would want to update that, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to open this window up a bit. Actually, what you can see is it's not taking up the full window, and I'll show you how to get around that. This is just the welcome wizard. Um, you can go through all the steps if you're not familiar with the operating system, and just it'll show you all the features of the operating system. I'm just going to close that for now. And we're at the desktop and what we want to do as you can see there's all this space over here and we can't full screen it properly so we want to install the guest editions so what we have to do is click on the devices and then you see insert guest edition cd image so we're going to click on that and then we get a pop-up over here where we can run it so we're going to click on run and it's going to ask us to type in our password this is going to be the user password that we created and then we can click on authenticate and it's going to go ahead and install this guest edition CD image. And what it's gonna allow us to do is full screen um, and it'll give us a proper aspect ratio. It'll also allow you to copy and paste from your desktop into your virtual machine and drag and drop files. So all these will be enabled once you install the guest edition CD image. Okay, so that is now done. And what we can do is hit the enter key on our keyboard and it's gonna close that. And what we wanna do next is just restart our virtual machine. So once we restart the virtual machine, all these features will be enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we still have this driver prompt. Just gonna close these out. And now what I'm gonna do is go to view and go into full screen mode and click on switch. Okay, there you go. So you can see that we have the full screen, it takes up the entire area. This is the way you're probably gonna to wanna to use a desktop anyways. So Linux Mint has been installed inside VirtualBox on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're looking for other tips and tricks to install operating systems in VirtualBox, VMware, or other virtual environments, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.